Hello, my dear friends. Today, this video, entomology in your brain, is going to be from another part of the world, from the place near the coast of the Red Sea. Yes, today I'm sitting not near the coast, near, not near the beach, but I'm sitting near my hotel room. Yes, in a charmer shape, today is pretty nice. I guess 27 degree, despite today is December 28th, 2012. If you have holidays, you can get some pleasant days here with sunshine, with very pleasant weather. And actually, you know, my video about entomology. Yes, even on vacations, you can be a little bit more attentive to the world around, to the nature. Yes, of course, it's a great time for relaxation. But if you look around, you can see some insects, quite many of them. Of course, everywhere here, around hotels. Because here this is very, very domesticated and cultivated, sophisticated sophisticated area okay, with artificial grass, artificial plants like this. Okay, I didn't cut it. This is a gift from hotel service. But you can find animals, you can find insects. And what insects? You can see first of all. Well, initially I first firstly saw dragonflies. Dragonflies, they were flying around these water pools. Yes, these water pools back very clean, but some of them were temporary reservoirs of water. So, and it's enough time for development of dragonflies. These big size of dragonflies were flying around were very fast, very nice indeed. Yes, actually, if you are entomologist, you should take with you your professional equipment like some entomological you know nets but this one is smaller just to use this net maybe with this yellow pen traps but to collect in yellow pen traps near the hotel is not convenient actually too much room service around but if you can go just maybe 500 meters out of hotels there is just a desert everywhere here is built just for hotels, for holidays and vacations. Yes, but outside it's simply desert, just stony desert, nothing around. You not say precisely nothing around. There are some camels, some animals, were hidden somewhere, and some green plants. So there you can put your yellow pen traps for one day, and you can collect insects. But even here, I've seen already different orders of insects. Yes, definitely. I saw, saw, saw you already dragonflies or another and those quails. Well, others were still here. Yes, there are some small leaves of acacia. I put it in this plastic bag because when I was looking around I saw acacia and acacia with some damaged, damaged leaves. And who is inside? Of course, a lot of caterpillars, some leaf rolling caterpillars were eating leaves of acacia and later I saw quite many small cocoons, yellow cocoons, 5 mm size, who's inside, yes, but all of them were still here inside the glass host. and here there are some parasitic wasps, definitely, these cocoons they belong to Braconini wasps and one Calcid was this is family Teromali, the secondary parasitoid of Braconidae. They already emerged, despite now it's a winter, but it's hot like in summer in Europe. So, all right, already two females of Calcid was Teromali, the secondary parasitoid. And actually, inside these leaves, leaf rolling ca caterpillar, they're still alive, they're crawling around. There are some. Torquid City inside hotel room 
Yes, I've seen and recollected few of them. Maybe that's the same species because actually this acacia with the yellow color flowers mostly damaged. And for that, on another stem, another bark of acacia, I saw definitely, you know, who is the most common even in desert? Right ants. Ants were actually everywhere, but even try to be very attentive, you can find only few of them. A small size, 5 mm, and a big size, about 7 mm, yellow colored species of ants crawling around the trees. And actually, not too many insects. Why? I explain you. Because there are some disinfectors here, they are walking around in evening time. In evening time, so they spray chemicals everywhere, we use uh, uh, portable equipment, so we spray these chemicals around, even so we destroy ants, all caterpillars, maybe actually mosquitoes. Mosquitoes were coming to your room, they are not pleasant, hopefully you don't get any malaria inside, but still few of them will come inside your room. Yeah, mosquitoes are going to be destroyed, yes, I see dragonflies is flowering, Flying around this cool big one, like a, actually like a small sparrow. And of course, what's about another insects? Beetles, beetles should be somewhere. But grass here, you know, maybe just five centimeters size. So it's the cultivator, sophisticated, very organized. So no place maybe to for hidden insects. But I found few weevils just on on the road, on the road. But Latoptera, you know, these co oriental cockroaches, we should not be in a hotel. You know, should not be. But of course, I have not seen them inside the restaurant, fortunately. But I've seen one dead species outside. Outside, this species was dead because maybe car or just maybe pedestrian. But we are here too because it's a hot and pleasant place to eat and develop. And what was else? And here you, you see green color, this is a, a lot of grasses. Some small wasps were, were flying around, they busy around on a very small, on a very small distance from the land. And actually these are digger wasps. Digger wasps, you see them? Uh, some of them very tiny, 5 millimeters, and these pollinators, some pollinators coming definitely to flowers because of the flowers were all around. And these pollinators, some bees are up with air, and some wasps like Sphecidae, these solitary bees and these solitary wasps were flying here around this grass. Actually, I have not seen honeybees, probably that's not a place for their development. Well, there are some, you know, some flowers, but if there are a lot of chemicals then spraying around, that's not good for honeybees, definitely. Well, who, who, yes, and around these funny flowers, there are a lot of flies, diptera. The diptera were developing everywhere, mm, such diptera like syrphidae flower flies, but also around the plant and around flowers, and inside. Inside building, I found one tiny, not insect, but tiny animal. This size, hecko, very tiny hecko. I tried to catch him. Yes, this tiny hecko lost his tail, but still was alive. I didn't try to catch him again because he was very, very soft, very tiny, yellowish color. So I released him just going around, maybe just maybe a few days. So because size was maybe about three centimeters. Well, what about birds? Those are also here around. A lot of sparrows were crawling and flying around in, in small groups. And also, uh, we've seen already here yeah, one small predatory bird like a tiny eagle, approximately this size, a little bit bigger than pigeon. And pigeons, very like, nice wild small pigeons, were just sitting somewhere on palms. On pond, they're very nice with very long tail, flying here just peacefully around and they give us quite a great pleasure to look for them. And what about 
in other animals. There are red knot animals about fish, fish, fish over there, just behind this water pool, because over there will be beach of a Red Sea. And you know, in a Red Sea, it's full of different, different, wonderful, colorful fish. Yes. But this story not about fish. If you would like to look for fish in, in a Red Sea, I will tell you another story just near the Red Sea, but it's quite windy, but here it's a very peaceful time. And this is a small story about entomology, about insects in Egypt, in Sharmache. And if you want to enjoy your vacations, your holidays, welcome here, relax in the sunshine, enjoy yourself. Yes, collect some insects. Yeah, if you are a crazy entomologist, or if you are enthusiastic, and if you are a professional entomologist, you will find insects everywhere. Because I know some entomologists say, no, I visited Hawaii only on my vacations. Never I've been on professional purpose. Well, but even if you are not a professional, but on your vacations, you can find your professional interests everywhere. Everywhere. And good luck. See you soon. And actually, don't forget about it. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Good luck and see you soon. Follow my videos and I will tell you more stories. Goodbye.